Welcome back to a new podcast, guys. Today, we're going to be talking about moving. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys know, but I moved to Fargo, North Dakota, and um, I'm very excited for it. Um, I'm, today, we're going to be talking about why I moved here um, and then the process of moving here. It's going to be cool. I got some video clips for you guys that you guys are going to be able to see and talk about, and it's going to be a bueno podcast, okay? Thank you guys for sticking with me. I know I haven't produced one of these for a while, but as I've been, well, as I said, um, I've been moving. So it's been very busy as well as uh, starting the summer, and um, yeah, super excited. Let's get straight into the podcast, guys. So let's just roll into the min- the, min- the intro music. All right, let's hop straight into it. So North Dakota, why? You know, everybody asks me, why? Why North Dakota, right? Mainly the opportunity, okay? I needed to move out, I needed to expand, and I needed to see what it's like on my own. Now, I'm not on my own. I have Brennan. Uh, He's not here, but (laughs) I have Brennan, okay? I moved out here with Brennan, as you guys know. You guys know Brennan. And um, and I I moved out here with him. I mean, he's been out here for a while now, and uh, I'm just super excited. I mean, it's pretty much opportunity to just get out of there and get something new. You know what I mean? I'm not going to leave um, Idaho, which is where I used to live um, forever. But I am going to um, just expand, you know, get on my own, take a gap year. I'm not going to go to college, obviously, this year. And uh, we'll see what next year has to, what the future has to say. You know what I mean? So, and then, you know, that's pretty much why. Uh, but I'm super stoked to be here. Um, I already got some things lined up for this year, and uh, filming-wise, I'm super excited as well. And so, overall, let's just have a blast, you know what I mean? You guys will see a bunch of content, um, obviously. I'm going to be pushing out a lot of content, I'm hoping to, uh, um, podcast and also um, videos, just regular videos. So let's jump straight into um, the moving process because I, I really like this. Um, I, bind, I, I lined up a bunch of videos that I, that I took um, of the trip instead of vlogging the whole trip. Um, and so some of them are Snapchats, obviously. So you guys are going to be seeing like vertical, okay, instead of horizontal. Um, so <laughs> let's start with this. Uh, the, first, the first video on the first day of um, me moving – Everything was a Saturday. Now, to picture the Saturday a little bit better, um, I had all my friends and all my um, my friends and basically some of my family over, and they are all helping me do different things, okay? The first thing on the agenda was to wash my car, and the reason I'm washing my car is because it was dirty. That, uh, that's just the reason, okay? It was dirty, but, we're gonna, but I'm hauling my car. So when I moved out here, I hauled my car from Idaho, to North Dakota instead of driving it because it's an older car it's going to have a lot of miles on it you get the point not nah, doesn't matter so what i did was got a trailer for it okay but in the meantime of getting this trailer and all these different things um Kaylee uh one of my friends got her car stuck in the rocks okay so that's the first video you're seeing here and uh <laughs> the, this video is uh it's really funny to me because it's like this would happen, you know, like move, like me moving, and Kelly gets a car stuck in the rocks, and that was the first video. The second video is of a beautiful car wash. Okay, like I said, we went to the car wash, so we decided to. Um, I just filmed a little bit of that. And the car wash is with Natasha and Garrett and Kaylee in the back. Um, Guys. <laughs> and now the thing is, like this, the getting the car on the ramp was unbelievably easy but i've never done anything like that before so it was it was on a pickup truck and then the ramp was in the back as you guys can see right now and it's <laughs> just really funny because i ramped it up there but also i had garrett and colby help me and skylar and um they were all the friends don't ask questions name dropping but you guys will um understand the people if you know them and uh and it was really funny because like just drove it up there and they helped me and it was I don't know it's it just all all this was like about experience and everything. I thought it was kind of funny, 
And then, you know, as, as you guys know, you guys know Garrett from 4th of July vlog um, and a couple others, I think. But uh, he's just goofing around in my car. And then, oh boy, this was kind of this was kind of hard. To leave my house was um, really actually hard. I mean, as you guys saw the video that's playing now, it's like that, that was like the end. Like that's how it ended up. It just left there like that. I mean, that was my last box. And I actually ended up... I didn't end up taking my bed because uh, I couldn't fit it with everything. Like, it was ridiculous. I could not fit that thing for the life of me. And then, uh, funny story here, um, packing up the car. <laughs> my mom and dad got home after getting off the boat and, and <laughs> just started packing up the car. We actually had to pack it, right, and then unpack it and then pack it again because we had to fit everything in there and i mean everything like I, I brought i brought majority of my stuff in my room except the couch and uh, my bed which was a lot i mean it was it was a lot like most of it was clothes um and then there's like knickknacks and different kind of stuff like that but because i moved out here for a year or more or less it doesn't matter um that's the reason the main reason why and then this, this video right here that you're seeing right now is uh, the last video that I took in my room in that morning, and that was kind of sad. Okay, well, you know, I guess this is goodbye. I think for the house, goodbye forever. But uh, some good memories, man. Okay, this road trip, all right. My family is known for road trip um, weird things, okay? It's just weird things, all right? Uh, so these bunch of clips here are just, um, I hope you guys enjoyed these clips. It's pretty funny. Uh, the road trip, Claire and I, oh man, we, we have a lot of fun. It's so funny cause you, you think you'd fight in the car, but we don't, we don't really fight at all. And, um, it's just really funny to see, um, us interact, I think. And it was like one of the hardest things too, because Claire knew she was losing me. Claire loves me, my sister. And, uh, so I thought it was pretty funny. Did you seriously eat that without the bun? Pretty much. I'm fucking impressed, Dad. He's so sleepy. Hi. And then uh, we made it to the hotel the first night. Now, the first night while we were driving, we were getting chased the first day. Um, we stayed in Miles City, Montana. So we drove from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho to Miles City, Montana. And that was about like, uh, I want to say like 10, 12, 12, 13 12, 12, 12 hour drive, I don't know, something like that. We were being chased the whole time by a storm, the whole time by a storm. And so it finally hit us as soon as we got to Miles City, which we were in our hotel. And it, the footage doesn't do any justice of it, but here it is. And um, it was like the wind was shaking, like the, the lamppost outside and different stuff like that. And it was just crazy because I was like, oh, well, welcome to the freaking Midwest, you know what I mean? But it was kind of funny. And then after that, we got back. They're my family, you know. They're, they're just they're just crazy. So I filmed them at eleven o'clock at night, um, our first night, and that was um, that was a storm, which I thought was pretty funny. Woke up the next morning. We only had four hundred and sixty-six miles to go, and that's what you guys are seeing now. And that was um, kind of crazy. And then we hit North Dakota at about probably, geez, I don't know, whatever time that was at. Um, probably like four or five. No, Pfft, never mind. Um, probably like eleven or twelve or something like that. And then after that, we just more road stuff. Hey, mom, how much longer on the drive? Four hours. Four. How many? And then we finally made it, and then we have Brennan and Claire, the epic duo of um, hating each other and loving each other at the same time. Oh my god, that was loud. But anywho, uh, yeah, they Claire Claire absolutely adores Brennan, and Brennan just doesn't act like he cares, so it's really funny. Hey, Brennan. Brennan, look. Look. Claire, move. And that's what you saw there. And then there's Brennan, obviously. You know, 
He's always having a stuffed animal. He's probably gonna kill me for uh, for showing this, but he'll love that anyways. And then um, the last clip I have here was just a funny clip that I figured I'd throw in there. Okay, I just thought I'd throw it in there. So here, watch that. First date, kind of nervous. <laughs> I don't think she's coming. <laughs> and that was overall my moving experience. There's a lot more that was probably left unsaid. Okay, but that was mostly um, that was mostly it. You know, moving out here to North Dakota was a big step, and and I don't know how many of you are um, in college, out of college, uh, haven't in high school, um, wherever you're at. I mean, this applies to basically kind of anybody, but you need to take that step. Um, me taking that step to move out here, I think was the right plan, you know, and, and, you know, in your life, you have like different paths. All right, I'm going to get philosophical. What? Sorry, I'm going to get philosophical on you guys for a second. But in, in life, like you have, you have different paths, right? And so you don't know what one is the right one to take. And that was the biggest thing for me. It's just like, do I go to college right after high school and, and try to figure out while in college what to do and or do I take a gap year and go from there and see what I can really you know what I can really do if I want to do by myself you just have different paths and like you just you know you never know if you're on you, you can know when you're on the right one and when you're not on the right one um, but to call those shots and actually go do something out of your comfort zone is like one of the most important things that you can do in your life and for me like growing up growing up right now it's like that was that was a big decision for me to make um but i'm glad i made it and i'm out here and here's the biggest thing and and i think you guys should live by this too so i'm going to share it with you my dad always says nothing's permanent and just you know let that sink in like nothing is permanent and that's so true you have to think like that because if you don't then you're on this you know you're on this course like thinking that everything that you do is always set like it's just like if you don't do this then you know whatever and um one of my good buddies actually jacob he has a youtube channel and i'll leave it down below but he he kind of does videos like this too and and he'll tell you how it is i mean but that's just like from his experience and i think that's really cool but basically to get back on track here you just you got to learn to take those jumps and take those leaps now is what i'm doing right <laughs> Don't ask me, okay? Don't. I mean, it's just a simple question. Is what you doing? Are what are you doing right now? Is is that right? I don't know. You know, I can't decide that. You can only decide that for your, You can only decide that for yourself. Just do what your heart desires. You know, swapping topics here. Um, I'm super stoked for moving out to North Dakota for main reason. Uh, Brennan, he he pushes me and makes me do uh, my videos for YouTube. Like, and, and we also filmed, um, I'm going to drop it here too. We filmed Superstar 2 and we finally actually wrapped today. So that's pretty exciting. That's pretty exciting. I'm glad we wrapped the movie. Um, if you guys haven't seen the first one, it's in my channel and it's called Superstar, The Life of Cody Winters. But the second one is coming out, um, fairly soon here and there'll be a trailer and all this different stuff. But I really wanted to produce, um, more videos. And like I said, like he just, he's the one to do that for me. And he just like gets on me about that kind of stuff. And that's nice. And he also helps me out a ton. And you guys are going to see a ton of him, whether you like it or not, because he's on here. And um, we're going to do, we're going to be doing a bunch of random stuff. So get ready for that. And also I'm going to try to continue these podcasts because I love these things. I love these things. But um, just to let you guys know and the podcast people in advance, um, and don't mark my words, frankly, just don't. But I'd like to see this. I think this is going to be more serious. Um, kind of like the stuff that I was talking about before. And then my videos are going to be like vlogs, challenges, you know, whatever. So you guys are welcome to tune into both. Um, whatever you'd like, I totally get it. And um, I really want to get my podcast on, you know, some sort of listening platform like Spotify, Apple Music, um, or not Apple Music, but Apple Podcasts and stuff like that. But I'm not quite sure if I can do that yet. So that's a problem. But either way, um, super excited just to be out here in a new environment and explore my options. And frankly, you guys are along for the ride. And I think that's the coolest thing ever, but I hope that you guys enjoy. I know it's over. It's only 16 minutes, very short podcast, whatever it is. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the moving process. I kind of didn't dive deep into it, but you guys get it. I think you guys get it. And, uh, it was very fun just to see 
and have all these different experiences and to actually move out here. And I recommend you guys do the same thing. If you have um, a gut feeling towards something, just go out there and do that. It's kind of easy. It's not. It's very hard. But once you do that and you get that, um, it's bueno. So I will see you guys um, next podcast, okay? But please leave a like, okay? Subscribe if you're new. Hit that subscribe button. Um, and also share this with you. Share this video. Share this video with your um, your grandparents. Your grandma really needs to see this because she needs to be involved in my life. And so that's important. You know, so share that with them, share it with your friends, share it with your family, um, whoever you want to share it with. You know, that's what the pinky's for, just share it with anybody you want. Maybe they need to listen. You know, maybe they just need to listen to something. Pfft, I'm rambling. It doesn't matter. Have a good one, guys. I will see you next time. Bye. You, you just needed something to me. I can show you my world. We can go through it all.